What would a fifth NBA championship mean for LeBron's legacy? And where do you rank him amongst the all-time NBA greatest players on your personal list, Trevor? I mean, LeBron, if he were to get that fifth championship, it just reignites the Jordan debates, whether or not he's truly the greatest of all time. And, and yeah. here's the thing. There's a little bit of futility in that, right? Because no matter what happens, no matter what LeBron does, if he could win MVP this year, and, and I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, but he could win MVP this year, win an NBA championship, and then be on the verge of taking the all-time scoring number. And you would still have people who say, it's, it's not him. He's not the greatest of all time. It's still Michael Jordan. Because at this point, we've been saying Michael Jordan is the greatest for so long that it's a knee-jerk reaction. It's like if somebody says, what's two plus two? Four. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? Michael Jordan, right? There's not, yeah. there's not a lot of room. There's some people who might say, oh, no, it's actually Kareem. Or actually, it's this player, right? But there's not a ton of room for debate in there. So it's tough for him to take over that, that mantle of greatest player ever. I think he is right there in terms of what he's accomplished in this league, how long he's been in this league, what he's done, uh, the level of dominance that he's had for so many years. Uh, a fifth championship would obviously just enhance his case. But like I said, if we're ranking all time, there's it's we're probably not going to be able to look at it objectively yeah. until what 10 years after he retires. That's that's when you're going to get people because he's very, very polarizing. So the people who really don't like LeBron, they're never going to say he's the greatest. Whereas once he's gone and he's not part of the NBA anymore, you'll see people start to come around on him. People who've been losing to him for years, that, that pain kind of fades. And yeah. then they'll start to be a little bit more objective uh, about him. That's how, how it tends to go with uh, star level basketball players, particularly who are highly polarizing ones. It's what we saw happening with, uh, with Kobe as well. But uh, to answer your question, is he, where is he? I mean, He's a 1A, 1B situation with Michael Jordan. I don't know. That's kind of a, a cop out. Uh, yeah. I probably still give the edge to Jordan just because of his career accomplishments and everything. And who knows what he would have done if he didn't uh, take those, those seasons off in the middle of his career. But really? uh, I'm still going to give the edge to Jordan at this point. But I mean, LeBron is right, right, right there. And he is absolutely incredible. And uh, I mean, what, a, what an amazing talent to get to watch. I agree with you, Trevor. But last week, I heard you say on the Sports Labs mouths with Earl and Speedy that Kobe is the greatest Laker of mm -hmm. all time. And I 100% agree with you. But I've also said this, Trevor, and I want to get your opinion about this. I hear people always compare LeBron James, Michael Jordan, when it comes to the GOAT conversation. And I always say it's disrespectful to overlook the greatness of Kobe Bryant and I believe there's an argument to be made for the Black Mamba to be the GOAT alongside MJ and LeBron. To that, you say what? Kobe is amazing. I don't know if I would put him in the greatest of all time, simply because um, he didn't dominate to the degree that, that Jordan did. He's close, right? Very, very close. And he is the greatest Laker of all time because of what he meant, not just on the floor. I mean, obviously on the floor is absolutely incredible and beyond belief, but he meant so much off the court too, to the franchise, to Los Angeles, to Lakers fans, right? That's mm -hmm. 20 years that matters. Um, so I do think he's the greatest Laker of all time. And as I mentioned on that show, I, I grew up a Magic Johnson fan and I, I've put Kobe ahead of Magic Johnson as the greatest Laker of all time. And I don't think there's a lot of room for debate there either. Uh, but as far as, as Kobe being the greatest of all time goes, you know, Kobe, his three championships that he won with Shaq, people will discount that a little bit because he won with Shaq. Um, I mean, that's not to say Jordan didn't have any help or LeBron didn't have any help either. They, they all certainly had help in order to get there, but Kobe was kind of the one B guy for his first three championships. And I think that's probably something that matters. And maybe you could say he became um, an, on an even playing field with, uh, with Shaq as, uh, as time went on, but he wasn't the guy on those teams that kind of carried them. He carried them for spurts, but he certainly was in, uh, in 09 and, and 2010. But that said, he didn't dominate to the same level, I think, that Jordan and uh, and LeBron have over the course of their careers. 